Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't see you guys there. How about them cowboys? Oh, wait, sorry, I didn't see you guys there. Sorry. It ain't gonna be that long. I just wanted to address something that, uh, you know, I made a post the other day about, uh, I miss the old days when everything was more about winning and losing and it wasn't about uniform swag and yada, yada, yada. And then one coach, <laughs> that McHugh from Taft went on Twitter to, to accuse me of addressing Miller about it. it my, my, my post somehow became all about Miller because Miller, I guess, is the only has players that wear uniform swag and gold shoes and nobody else does it. I don't know. I've, I've been on a bunch of sidelines the last five years different sidelines and everybody does it. This wasn't about Miller. Uh, why I picked on gold shoes? Because that seems to be the the random color of choice. Even teams that don't have gold in their color have kids that use gold shoes. There's just something about the gold shoes. I don't know what it is. My post was never about Miller. Nothing was ever about Miller. It was about everybody. Is Miller included? Yeah. It was just it's an opinion. And then people went there and on the comments and the hissy fit outrage that ensued, man. I'm like, gosh, man. And then I'm cool with it, man. That's what my page is for. I get different opinions. But I, I guess I just couldn't believe it when it came from a coach. Like, <laughs> your coach, too, would be professional, man. And he's a coach from Taft, so I don't know what Miller had to do with anything. I know his brother's a coach at Miller, but... So I know that makes me wonder, like, are the Miller coaches telling him to say something? Because he's from Taft. What does he have to do with Miller or... And then... And, and, and then did I should just change the name of my page to Alice Bloodsport? Let me explain something to you, kid. Uh, I played for Alice. That's my alma mater. If I if I if somehow or another I show a little extra love to them every once in a while, then I'll fucking do it if I want. It's my page. It's not you want to do uh, something for ta or Ingleside. You play for Ingleside or wherever. It'd be, start your own page. And show Ingleside some love. Do what you want to do. I mean, it's, it's my page, dude. I'm gonna post whatever I want to post. I show everybody love. You know, I spent three years being accused of being a Miller lover. I defend Alice a few weeks ago on the, one of their kids getting MVP over a Miller kid, and all of a sudden I'm a Miller hater. <laughs> it's crazy how the mind of some people works, man. Like, but yeah, this dude's crap about you. I just change the name of your page to Alice Bloodsport while you're at it. You know what? It's my, my you know what? It looks pretty good, don't it? <laughs> it's my page. I post what I want. You know, the funny thing is, I don't remember you being on uh, Twitter accusing, telling me to change the name of my page to Miller but Bloodsport all those years that I was uh, uh, favoring Miller a little bit. You know, I, I, I got to know their coach and some of their coaches, and so it's just, it worked out. And I guess that sideline pass is gone. <laughs> I really don't care, man. I'm not gonna have people attacking me and posting bullshit. Uh, my, my original post on my post had nothing to do with the Miller kids. It, it's just my opinion on uniform swag. That's it. it. It isn't targeting any specific school. It ain't targeting any specific player. It's just, it, and even so, it's an opinion. Who the fuck is gonna cry because uh, some random dude that has nothing to do with your life that misses the old days of football? It's weak, man. It's weak. And I'm picking on the one coach, but it wasn't just him. It was a bunch of you were crying on my on my comment section. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, it's crazy, man. But uh, uh, my page is what it is. My page is entertainment. It's there to be entertaining. It's there to give fans an outlet to go and debate each other on sports. Uh, the graphics I make, uh, the head-to-head -head helmet stuff, you know, I'm not trying to win awards. They're simple graphics, man. As some people comment on how uh, and your graphics. Dude, <laughs> I make those head-to-head -head graphics so you guys can go in the comment section and, and, and debate your little stuff about your, your programs. That's it, man. So, yeah, this thing is just an outlet for you guys to be able to debate sports and, and get information. Maybe one of your fans says something in the comment section you didn't know what was going on. Maybe I didn't know what was going on. Uh, so it's a good outlet for that, but, uh, you know, it's, it's my page, so I'm going to do what I want, you know, if I, this is where I look at. 
you know, I don't have an inside helmet coach. I would have put it here. I have a Miller helmet. I had a Miller helmet all those years helping the, doing stuff for Miller. I never really got anything out of it. I mean, no one paying me for this. It's, no, one, no one pays me for what I'm doing. Uh, I do this for love of the sport, uh, to have a good time with it so you guys can have a good time with it. Nobody's paying me for this. Don't tell me what to put on my page, bro. Um, It's so good. It's so good when it hits your lips. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put what I want on my page, man. And and those of you that don't like it, you, you don't have to follow, man. And if you're going to still follow and comment, you, you think you're hurting me when you comment and you say something. I think some guy... <laughs> oh, and, and the argument about uh, the backwards cap stuff. That's just my opinion. So what? And you have a right to say why it's not... It's You think I'm wrong and why it's okay that the coaches on the sidelines wear their cap backwards... Yeah, so it's, it's an opinion. It's just an opinion that's it. It's an opinion that it's not a little good look. It's my opinion. I'm one person. Why are you letting one person ruin your day? Why are you letting one person make you get your panties in a wad? I don't get it. You know, and debate me why, and debate me like you guys are on uh, on the comment section about why you think it is. there's nothing wrong with it. And that's, I'm cool with that. Uh, but yeah, so I defended the kid who got MVP and then it just... People from Millers, they're just mine was in a shock or something. Like they did I'm supposed to like if they own you don't own me, man. It's, I'm not a Miller. I didn't I'm not here for one program. Uh I, I appreciate the support y'all give me over the years, but I'm not here for one program. I'm here for everybody. And so I had love for Miller for all these years, for all the games I've done there and yada yada. Until now this, I, I really don't care, man. I don't see myself doing another Miller game and I don't give a shit. Uh but I did show over the last few years a little more love to Miller and Alex. And it wasn't even just that. It's uh the programs that show me the more most love in the comments section or in sharing of the videos or the likes that that's where my attention's gonna that's where my attention's gonna go. It's not fun making a, a graphic that gets two likes. <laughs> it's not fun making a video that doesn't get any views. So if if you guys aren't watching or liking or or, or commenting it's I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm, I'm trying to grow the page, and if you guys aren't going to participate, and you're from certain program, I don't see certain programs participating or showing love. I, it's, it's, it makes it harder to. But then even like that, I try and include everybody. And like I said, if I do an occasional graphic or post, it's a little more leaning towards an Alice or a Miller. It's that's where the that's where the shares and views and likes come from. So that's that. I mean, it's not. I don't know what to tell you, man. Start your own page. Start your own page if you don't like my page. Start your own page and you can kiss your own alma mater's ass. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. And it's not all of you, you know. I, I shouldn't just make it seem like everyone's being negative. There's a lot of you that are like, you're supportive in the comments section. You understand where I'm coming from. You you like that I, <laughs> that I do things the way I do. That's what I'm here for. Like I said in one of my last videos, so there's enough... Uh, uh, there's enough pages and and social media outlets that are just all about kissing coaches asses kissing pro kissing programs asses uh, and I, I do some of that but that's not that's not my that's not what I'm all here for I'm still gonna keep it real I'm, I'm still if I think this program or this coach or this that or that I have an opinion on it that's not good I'm gonna say it and the beauty about this is y'all you don't have to follow it you don't have to watch it you don't have to like it it's a, it, it seems like a simple enough concept to me that some of you just aren't grasping. But, uh, yeah, back to the thing on the uniform swag, because I didn't really go into detail about it. We want to know why I don't like it. I, it just, it takes away from team, is my opinion. You know, the, the time that a player is spending putting 10 wristbands on, um, putting sleeves and 10, I mean, this, this and that everywhere. It just, it, it makes, it looks like they're more worried about what they look like than getting the job done on game day. That's just my opinion. Does it always work out that way? Probably not. <laughs> but you're not there for a fashion show. You're there to win a game. This is the way I look at it. It's just, you want to call me an old man saying, get off my lawn? I don't give a shit. That's just my opinion. 
But yeah, those those of you that are smart enough to stick with a page and, and you don't you see it for what it is and you understand its entertainment purposes, I, I appreciate you guys more than the other ones. <laughs> it's just what it is, man. But I, I think my favorites are the ones that don't comment, but they go hit the laugh button or something or the like button on a comment someone makes against me. Uh, don't hide in the shadows. You know, say what you feel. The video maker guy. Uh, uh, and those of you from. I'm not going to mention his name. He knows who he is and he knows he's going to watch this. Uh, you know, that one of the fan that disappeared after the Shiner game. But he'll come on and hit that laugh emoji or like emoji when someone says some shit about me. That to me is my favorite. And you guys aren't hurting me when you do that. You you don't realize how much I laugh at that stuff. Like, because to me, that's just a so weak. Like, make your own comment. Make your own comment and say what you want to say. Don't disappear just because Shiner won state. You know, don't just hit the like button and ignore everything else because, you know, what my Q brother said your videos were awesome and so you're going to brown nose when I say something. Look, man, this dude, I, and then someone came on the comment section defending uh, the McHugh's characters. You know, I, I never call their char character into question. I don't want to say anything about it. It's, it, it. I think this guy didn't get it. The guy that was defending them is like, you know, when, when I interviewed them and they were respectful and professional, like, good. That's your experience with them. That's not my experience with this dude. This dude went on Twitter to share, share some bullshit. He shared some bullshit that just ignited the fire and had a, has a whole fan base after me now. And I don't, I like it. I want that fan base. I don't care. Come after me. That that's what makes my page more fun. But that's not the point. Is this dude? That's my experience with this dude. You know, I don't care what he does over here in twin passing camps and yada yada yada. Good. That's great. But I don't. What does that to do with the uh, <laughs> the tweet he sent out about me? That weak ass tweet that we know is coming from somewhere else, but other people that are don't want to comment themselves because it's just it, it don't bother me, it don't phase me. It is I have a good time with it. That's why I'm making this. You you gave me a reason to make a video, and I love making these videos. So uh, thank you, thank you so much. But yeah, we got another month. I think February second is when the new realignment districts are, are going to be announced. Uh, chances are I'll make another video before then, but for sure the beginning of February when the new districts are announced, I'll make a video. Uh, We'll see how it goes this year. I think my wish list this year is, is whatever happens. I know they're going to be in different districts this year, but, uh, man, I hope Alice and Miller play again. I hope Alice and Miller play again, dude. Man, certain fan bases need to be brought down to reality, dude. It's just some fan bases win a little bit, and just their shit don't stink, and they're the fucking Austin Wesley Chaparral's now. And I ain't going to lie. I'll be, I'll be biased. I'll be I'm being biased about it. I don't give a shit. I'll say it. Look what I'm wearing. I don't care, man. You brought it out of me. But, uh, you know, I still I keep my page fair. You know, I'm having fun with this. It's just all in good fun, joking around. I keep my page fair, like I said, and I'll be honest, if, if I show them more love to certain teams, it's because they're the ones giving me the reason to. Uh, with Alice, it's just my alma mater. Deal with it. You don't like it? Get the fuck off my page. Uh, you know, like I said, you, you, you're accusing me that I should change the name of the pro or the page, Alice Bloodsport. If you weren't saying to change it to Miller Bloodsport, when I was doing your brother's team's favors, were you? You know, keep it real, dude. Come on. But yeah, to the rest of you that are cool and understand what I'm doing with my page and appreciate the honesty, that's how I'm always gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm not here to be politically correct. I'm not here to pat everybody in the back. Uh, whether you're a player or a coach, I, I don't care, man. If that means you don't let me on your sidelines anymore, then that, that's, go ahead, I don't care, that's, that's weak of you. Uh, I'm here to be honest, man. I said from the beginning, this this is the pages I run and this show and everything's gonna be something similar to what you see uh, with college or NFL. You know, I'm not here to be politically correct. Um, I'm, I'm gonna tell it like it is. You know, I'm not gonna be ugly about any anybody, especially not the kids. Uh, but I'm gonna tell it like it is. If you don't like it, you don't have to follow it. But those of you that don't like it, I I appreciate you on the page. I love your complaining, man. You just keep the traffic going. You keep bumping the comments, bumping the posts. I, you're not hurting me, man. The, the the funny ones are the ones that say this is my last post I'm not gonna help this page and then they keep on and on anyway yeah though for those of you that understand what the page is about and get it and stay on there having a good time with it I appreciate you guys but yeah so uh, I'll see you in a month for sure with a district realignment show but probably before then on something else I'm sure something you know there'll be some coaching show oh, coaching change rumors Carol Ray and Carol Ray and Moody were the ones that I heard the rumors that are 
going to be looking for new business. I have no idea if that's true. Don't quote me on it. It's rumors that we hear. Uh, that, that's why I'm not... You know, other people commented on the posts I made about once Carol's filled, Miller will be looking for a new coach. I have no idea if any of that's true. Is this, but these are rumors to have fun with in the comments section. Not to go attacking anybody. It's just it's, it's what it is. It's just rumors. Something to discuss. Football season's over, so anything makes anything interesting right now. But, uh, yeah, those of you who stay with the page and understand what's going on, uh, and don't, you, just, you don't want to cry all the time, I appreciate you guys. Those of you that cry all the time, I appreciate you too because you're just keeping the traffic going, man. <laughs> you're helping me grow whether you realize it or not. Uh, but thank all of you, though, and uh, I'll see you soon. Go Coyotes.